Welcome back to the channel everyone. In our last video we talked about the future of PlayStation. In this one we're going to be talking about the future of Xbox. So if you're not already a part of the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up and share with a friend. So in similar fashion to the uh, PlayStation video we're going to be going over exclusive games, services and console features. So um, Xbox has a few known exclusive games such as the Halo franchise, um, Forza Motorsport, and Forza Horizon, Gears 5, Fable, and now Hellblade. Now, um, Hellblade 2 um, has already been announced, but for the others, the other four games that I mentioned, you can expect to see um, um, continuations these games you can expect to see more sequels of these games so Halo Infinite has been announced um, we have not heard anything about the Forza games but my my guess would be that we are at least going to be getting Forza Motorsport I think it's eight. Forza Motorsport 8 um, probably day and date with the Xbox Series X launch um, these big game company, they like to have a racing game to show off um, on their new console. So, yeah, I'm expecting to see Forza Motorsport 8 um, in holiday 2020 for the Xbox Series X. Forza Horizon now, um, that's another story. That, that game might um, come out a year or two later. So, we got Forza, Forza um, Horizon 4. Yeah, Forza Horizon 4 um, last year in 2019. So Forza Horizon 5, um, I'm expecting that for 2021, 2022, the latest. And we also got Gears 5 last year. And the, the team at, 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 at um, team that works on Gears, they, they work pretty fast on their games. So a Gears sequel could be in the mix for 2021. And, and again, 2022 the latest, but they work pretty fast on their games. So maybe 2021 for the Xbox guys. And we've heard some rumors about a Fable sequel. Not sure if that's still happening. Um, haven't haven't heard anything uh, major or concrete from Xbox or Phil Spencer. So not really sure if that's a project that they're still working on. But yeah, I'd love to see that. Um, next, we would, we would say that we're expecting some, some new IPs, some new games from Xbox. I, I can't remember any other games off the top of my head that would get a sequel other than the ones that I've mentioned before. They're not going to get a, a second Sunset Overdrive because um, Insomniac Studios owns the right to that game and Sony has acquired Insomniac, so you see they pretty much lost that franchise. And Microsoft wasn't really showing any interest in um, bringing back that game. So, yeah. And then there's Remedy Entertainment, and they, they have split ways with, with Microsoft. So Remedy is no longer doing any exclusive for Microsoft. So, yeah. Apart from the initiative that should be working on something new, like a new IP, something that is quote unquote triple A or as Colt Eastwood would say quadruple A yeah dealer came and say that so that as well um, quadruple A wow never been heard of before but yeah that's what these Xbox guys like to hype up so I'm just giving you the facts the games that I've mentioned Halo Forza series Gears Fable maybe and Hellblade so out of those only two have been confirmed Hello Infinite and Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga or Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 however they want to twist it. Right. So new IP. Um, I'm expecting a new IP from the initiative and it's supposed to be a, a big game, budget game. Um, here they have a lot of funding at their disposal so expect something massive from them probably something that um, fans are going to like so moving on we're gonna go into the services 
Now, the first service um, we're going to talk about is xCloud. xCloud is um, a new and upcoming game streaming service from Microsoft. Right now, it's in the beta phase. Now, I expect by the time Xbox Series X launch, we're going to be getting a subscription. Subscription price to go along with that service. From what I hear, um, the beta is going pretty well. I haven't tested it out myself. I don't have an Xbox um, One, so I can't test it out. Well, sorry, I don't need an Xbox One, but I haven't signed up for it on my phone. I don't think it's um, available in my country yet. But um, nonetheless, the beta, the beta is out there. Um, you can, I think, you can still go ahead and sign up for it. I don't think it's full as yet. So yeah, you can go ahead and sign up for the X Cloud beta. Um, should be coming in holiday 2020 official price and um, yeah it should be launching soon to the public for everyone uh, my guess is we're going to get a sub separate subscription price for this around 10 bucks so nine dollars nine dollars and 99 cents for xcloud next service i want to go in is game pass I expect more from game pass game pass is still going to be a standalone subscription different from xcloud you know that goes to 10 bucks as well um you're gonna you're gonna be adding more games more new games and you're gonna get some xbox series x games on the game pass service in holiday 2020 and going beyond so yeah that's something to look forward to um xbox live yeah they don't expect much to change but they might revamp the service in a way they might do some update to um, their servers for like better online play you know so yeah look look out, look out for um, an update for xbox live and we're going to also get um, for the xbox store i think we're going to get a, a new xbox store um well i'm gonna talk about that in the, in the next section so Xbox Live, yeah, may, maybe we'll get an update for that where there's improvement on Microsoft side so that you can have better gameplay when you're you're online. Next service, we're going to talk about DVR. Now, that's a service that is um, currently available on the Xbox One, but it works best on the Xbox One X. Now, this allows you to like record your gameplay and upload and edit. Upload it and edit it as well. Edit it and upload it to like um, YouTube, Mixer, and stuff like that. And speaking of Mixer, that's the next service that we're going to talk, talk about. Expect Mixer to be heavily integrated into the Xbox Series X. I don't think you, you, you have YouTube on an Xbox currently, and they removed it just to um, get rid of the, the competition. So, um, I think they're going to they're going to push Mixer a lot, a lot more. I think they're going to be really aggressive with the Mixer approach, and it's something that um, Xbox is going to talk about when they are launching their console. So yeah, look out for more Mixer stuff. And you know you're going to have your social media stuff like your um, your Facebook, your Twitter. Um, YouTube, but yeah, Facebook, Twitter. Um, I, hope, I don't think you're gonna, I don't think you have Twitch. I think maybe you'll have YouTube, but I, I don't think you have uh, Twitch because Twitch is competing with me. So, so. But yeah, but other social media stuff, uh, they're probably going to be baked into your console. And then lastly, you have your movies and TV services, such as Sling, um, Netflix, Hulu, HBO probably even Disney Plus and Plex. So I expect more of those. Finally, we're going to talk about the console features. Now, um, this was a major topic that I mentioned in the PlayStation video. I'll leave a link to that um, so that you guys can go ahead and check it out, all right? Now, grading your hard drive or SSD, grading the storage on the console. I think it should be easy on the Xbox Series X lot easier than it is on the Xbox One now because from what I know it, it's a pain but yeah so next we're going to talk about live stream um, touch um, a bit on this 
but I think live streaming is going to be a lot bigger and they're going to want to make it easier for the players for the consumers to stream their games and that's why they added the new share button to the controller so yeah expect more live live streaming um, features for the Xbox Series X consoles and new new UI a new UI um, comes along with every every console so I think the UI that Microsoft is going to go with is probably going to be based upon well it's going to still be Windows 10 at launch but expect um, throughout the console life cycle for you to get a date to um, to the, the the user interface to the dashboard that will be based upon Windows 11 so yeah guys that's pretty much it for the videos those are the features services and exclusives that I'm expecting for the Xbox Series X in the near future um, I'll be doing another video probably I'll be doing another one on um, Nintendo so you can stay tuned to the channel and look out for that as I said before, if you're not already a part of the channel, just go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, and share the video with a friend.